Hi everybody, welcome back to A Sweet Journey. I am Sonia, also known as Sweets, and uh, it's Saturday night. I am just finishing all of the things in this day, and I thought I'd stop and take a quick moment to leave, I don't know, a couple of words of wisdom on this fine end of winter because I believe that we spring forward tomorrow. And so I just thought I'd stop by and just share a, a couple of things that were just kind of on my heart. And um, so we'll see how this goes. First of all, I am right at the beginning of a of a really great kind of, in, in my opinion, it's a manifestation of something that I really felt strongly was going to happen. And I feel really encouraged to encourage other people to not despise the day of small beginnings. I think that oftentimes we're in a situation where we're right at the beginning of something and it, does, it doesn't quite look the way that we think it should look. And so we want to give up or we want to question if this is the thing that we're supposed to be doing. And I just... I admonish you to consider that this is absolutely where you're supposed to be, absolutely what you're supposed to be doing. It just happens to be the beginning of it. And when the scripture tells us not to despise the day of small beginnings, it is because it's very clear, like the small beginnings don't look like the end result. At, at least that's clear for me in my life. So for me, um, I am a dreamer. I've, I think I've always been a dreamer. I've always kind of envisioned things that could be. And I feel like I'm right in the, I'm right in the core of some things that, I don't know, I, I have envisioned my whole life. And the scripture also says that we don't look at the things that are seen because the things that are seen are temporary. We look at the unseen things, which are eternal. And so that's another thing just to think about. If you're looking at things, you're looking around and things seem a certain way, don't don't fix your eyes on those things. They're just temporary. And, you know, that happens both positively and negatively. I think that there are some things that are happening really great in our life. We have to be willing to understand that, you know, all, all of the things can, um, everything can be, it can phase in and out. So anyway, I am, um, I'm excited. I'm excited about the possibilities of uh, a future that just includes a lot of, a lot of things that I've been wanting. And I just, my desire today is just to encourage you to keep going. It doesn't matter what's happening today. Um, there, there was a um, a little thing that I learned. I can't remember what book I read it from or article, but it's the concept of yes and. And so what yes and is, is a way to look at something, figure out a place of agreement with it. And instead of looking at it in a black and white, either it has to be this or it has to be that, that maybe there's a yes and. Perhaps it is, um, yes, I'm in a negative situation right now and tomorrow could bring something very different or, and I have, I have done really, really great things that I'm expecting a result from. So anyway, some things to just think about. We are, we're living in a, in a time where it's a wonderful thing to dream. It's a wonderful thing to, to go after the thing that you're passionate about and just to believe God. And that's kind of, I'm living in that space right now. I just, I believe him. I believe that the things that I have seen for myself, the things that I have seen for my family, I believe him for those things. And so I can look around and I can see things that break my heart right now. I can see things that are hard. Um, I can wish things were different. And I can consider the fact that 
despite what I'm looking at right now, I can trust that things are going to get better. And uh, and I encourage you, I encourage you to to step into that, that there is a yes and an and that you can say yes to stepping out on these big dreams and understand that the process takes time and it's okay. And we don't know how much time we have, which is why it's it's a good idea to just go ahead and step into the thing that you are really wanting to do. And so these are the thoughts. Uh, and so I don't know, hopefully this was encouraging to someone, hopefully um, someone who is listening has uh, been inspired to keep going, to keep moving forward. And mark this day. It is March the 13th, 2021. Mark this day or whatever day that you're you're listening to this video. Mark it as a day that you decided that this is the day of small beginnings, but it's all right. And when you look back, you can say, I remember this girl with this big old tree-like ponytail looked at me dead in my eye and said, don't look at the thing which is seen, look at the unseen thing. And for me to not despise the day of small beginnings. And I remember when she said it, I heard it and I tucked it away deep and I moved forward. And I celebrate that with you and I'm excited about whatever it is that you are up to. And so thank you all very much for letting me just chat with you. I, I am very, very grateful. Uh, just that you would even stop by. So thank you for doing that. If you, I, I would love if there was something that stood out to you, something that uh, this was inspirational or confirmation for you that you would leave it in the comments and um, definitely share the video if you think somebody else could benefit from it. So thank you all so much and I will talk to you next time. Take it easy.